All right. You know what? We got. We here got we are. Lock two. Lock two. Yes. That's right. I, I have some backup now. I'm looking for somebody because he likes to get physical with me, and he is much larger than me. I need somebody who is willing to kick his ass whenever I need someone to kick his ass. So yeah, well, sign up, Lao Tu Lao Tu. That's right. I'm not going to mess with him. Uh, definitely yeah. not. But how how you feeling, man? I mean, what, what's it been like so far, the process, being here, you know, going through all of this? Yeah. I mean, it's been great. It's been, it's been mind-blowing, really. I mean, seeing all this stuff as a kid and growing up and then meeting dudes that are the best at what they do. Right. I mean, it's really cool. Yeah. Are you, are any shocking moments the first few days? Like, did you meet anybody where you're like, oh, my gosh, I can't believe I'm meeting yeah. this guy? Coach right? Harbaugh. I Coach mean, Harbaugh. Yeah, for yeah. the Ravens, I mean, right. shoot. Going to shake his hand. I was like, wow, I'm really shaking his hand really right in front of him. Right. Like, this, is, this is insane. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and uh, the Ravens, they usually like big-ass kickers like yourself coming <laughs> off the edge. So I'm sure he liked you too. No, when great. you get around <laughs> some of the other guys who played, like yeah. how much of that, like, who's the biggest dog here? Like, how much of that goes on where you guys are, like, not trying to intimidate each other, but just trying to make sure everybody yeah. understands, hey, I'm the man, not you. Yeah, well, you go throughout the season, like, hearing about their names and then watching some of their tape and stuff like that, and, like, on tape, they're like, damn, they're, like, they look pretty big. And then you meet them, they're like, oh, they're, like, kind of just like me. And, yeah. like, you get to know them and stuff like that and, like, bond with them a little bit. So it's a real cool moment. Yeah, yeah I hear you. I wish it was yeah. more... I wish it was, it was a little more. more. Well, you I know want, what? I, I want to hear about fights. Well, I, I, I want to hear about some rumbles. That. He's going to learn that too. He's going to realize because when everybody goes to the NFL, they think, "Oh man, it's going to be cutthroat and crazy competitive." And what he's going to realize is he's going to have some veterans of the team. They're going to be like, "Wait, we understand this, and I'm going to do what I got to do, and he just got to do what he's got to do, and we're not going to worry about being, you know, jerks to each other yeah. or whatever else." That's yeah. kind of what happens. Yeah. Who, who was your team growing up in the NFL? The Niners. The Niners. Yeah, I grew up watching Alex Smith, okay. you know, Patrick Willis, Frank Gore, right. Vernon Davis, the other Harbaugh was. Coach yeah, of the team, exactly. right? Yeah. Okay. And then, like, defensive player. We always like to ask that. Like, growing up, who was kind of your idol uh, coming off the edge or any position? It was really Troy Palomalu, like, growing up. Like, right. I tried to emulate a lot of stuff that he did, even though that's super hard. And then, really, when I kind of got to learn, like, you know, pass or stuff like that, it's been Max Crosby for me. Max Crosby's your yeah. guy. Yeah. What about what about Max Crosby? Does it, like, that – because we've, yeah. we've heard that a lot from some people, that Max Crosby – Players gravitate towards yeah. him when they watch him. What is it about his game? Well, I kind of went through somewhere like, you know, it kind of like reminded me you got you got to do everything like it, like it's your last moment. And then I see in his game play, like, you know, he doesn't really give up ever. Like, you don't Never. see him. You don't see him. Non-stop motor. His non-stop motor. Right. Like, his, like, relentless tenacity is just, you know, speaks volumes. And, yeah. like, every play is like his last. And really his moves, he's always working some after another. If one right. doesn't work, he's working another one. And he's just super crisp and even in the run game as well. Oh, and cool yeah. as hell, let me just tell you. Yeah. Right? He actually tried to punk me at the Super Bowl. What? Oh, it was great. <laughs> he oh, was great. scared for a minute. He came with receipts. He came with receipts of all did. the times. Some Chris said I bad said, things about the Raiders. I said some things about the defense. <laughs> and he was like, hey, I got a bone to pick with you. And I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you talked earlier, Lao, too, about being a little starstruck with John Harbaugh. Who's the player in the NFL now that when you're there and you're on the field with him, you're going to be like, oh, my gosh, I can't believe that guy's out there? I mean, it's going to be crazy. It's like so many people. I mean, you see here C.J. Stroud and stuff like that. And, um, you know, Will Anderson, I got to meet him a little bit at the Lombardi. And then, I mean, shoot, if I ever see Max Crosby, even on the sideline on the other, on the other, I'm going to be like, oh, my Fan gosh. Fanboy like, over this, here. No, for real. Like, it's going to be hard not to. <laughs> Who's the quarterback that you're most looking forward to putting on his butt? I think Pat, Pat Mahomes, especially okay. with all the Super Bowls that he's won so far. I feel like, you know, getting him down would be almost a dream come true. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that'd be a good one. I hear you there. What yeah. about, what about, all right, so, you, you know, big day for you tomorrow. Tomorrow's the workout, yeah. right? What are we? What are we weighing? What's the measurables right now? Give it to us yeah. for our fans. Two sixty. Two sixty. Comfortable at. Yeah. Okay. And you're six five. Six five. Six five. Two sixty. You. What events are you gonna run tomorrow? Um, I'm gonna do everything. You can do everything. Yeah. All sir. right. You got like a little frame of where you think you got forty time at six um, five two sixty. Where you think definitely you under four seven. All right. Yeah. That's that's a good damn time yes, right sir. there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you you got that going. All right. Now like last few. Uh, or, this is what I want to ask you. You come from UCLA. I see you wearing number 15. Yeah. And I'm watching you and watching college football on a Saturday. Do you know who Jalen Phillips is? Yes, I do. I mean, first off, Jalen Phillips is one of the best pass rushers in football of Miami Hurricane. I yeah. mean, uh, Miami Dolphins. Yeah. But his story is similar to you. He wore the same number as you. I'm watching you on. I'm going, damn, this looks like Jalen Phillips. Who is this guy? And I'm going, damn, this guy's good. He's like <laughs> Jalen Phillips. But – I want you to explain to people some of your injury history yeah. and the things you had to do, deal with here and yeah. your role. Because it really is a lot like what Phillips did, had to yeah. 
the same, old, yeah, same path. That's what I was getting to. It was a similar path, right? Yeah. And go ahead, just explain that to well, us. Well, I was uh, medically retired in 2021 and told by you know a bunch of people, a bunch of doctors and specialists that you know you wouldn't be able to play football again. I kind of and I told them like you know you'd be able to, you'd be seeing me play football again just because hearing that is like so hard. Like football's been everything to me since like stage six and and it was neck injury. right? It was a neck injury, right. yeah, and. Um, was told I wouldn't be able to ever play again and work my way back after a year and 30, uh, after a year and I don't even know how long, like a year and a half and um, really work my way back, never gave up, continue doing uh, pass shows, continue working out, continue conditioning and, you know, God brought me back to this moment and, you know, thank God that we got the referral from Coach Kwiatkowski, who used to coach at Washington about the doctor, uh, Robert Watkins in LA and, you know, he's done surgeries on uh, Daniel Hunter, Peyton Manning, and you know, I looked at my scans. I thought I was able to, you know, keep doing, keep, keep doing what I was doing. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. Have you talked to Jalen Phillips at all? I haven't yet. I wish I was able to meet him before I got to UCLA. Right. But I took a, I took an official visit my junior year, and um, I seen him play for the first time. It was against Cincinnati, and uh, that was right before he actually left UCLA. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. I know it's, it's crazy how similar your story is. To his. I'm trying to yeah. imagine the moment, like to when you're sitting there waiting to hear what Dr. Watkins has to say. Yeah. And because you know what he's going to say, you're waiting for somebody to tell you you can play, you want to yeah, play. Exactly. What, what was the feeling for you when the words came out of his mouth yeah. that, yeah, you can, you can go back and play? I mean, I wasn't expecting it. I just, I kind of hoped for the worst at that time and just, uh, not hope for the worst, but like, kinda expecting like, the worst. Expecting the yeah, worst, yeah. Right. And um, when he came out, he was like, yeah, you're, I, I'll clear you. Like, you look good and like, you passed all the, you know, physical tests and stuff like that, you know. In my heart, it just felt like I got my heart back. Like I was able to play football again and stuff yeah. like that. And after that meeting, like, well, I was nervous as heck before that. I was like, clammy hands, nervous, sweating. And it's part of your soul. You like yeah, playing the right. game. I hear yes, you, sir. man. You and know? after that meeting, I got to my car and called my mom, just crying, telling her what happened. Just because, yeah. yeah, she couldn't be there. But I told her what happened. I got cleared. And, you know, it was game on from there. I yeah. locked in. Yeah. And yeah. look, I think that explains why your attitude is you're going to play every play like it's your last one. You've already had it taken away from you. You've had to process and deal with it being gone. Now it's yeah. back. You're going to get everything you can out of it. You're going to put everything you have into it now that you've got this gift back. Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. Enjoy it, man. Because, damn, I cried for a lot when my career was over. I yeah. was like, damn, I really? can't believe it's over. A lot of fans cried a lot during his career. <laughs> <laughs> He's such a jerk. True. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. I did. I cried. It was. I felt yeah. like I lost a loved one, right? right? That's kind of yeah. how I felt. I was like, damn, I'm missing a part of my life here. There's an adjustment period, so keep, I mean, during keep that, going yeah, for it. During that downtime, I mean, there's literally times where I got emotional. Like, it just hit me out of nowhere, and I, I wasn't even thinking about it. It just I, hit me just because it's in me. I hear you, man. Yeah. I've been there with you. I know yeah. it's tough, so I'm happy for you. I really am. I really appreciate All that. All right, so what What about your game? Like, where, what about your game do you feel like you need to improve yeah right uh is the like the, the first question go yeah. there really it's just um my upper body and getting extension and uh taking on blocks and stuff like that doing it more violently consistently making sure my thumbs up in the right place and um you know my hands are near the numbers eyes eyes below my hands um and coming off blocks make sure i'm doing it you know violently consistently and i'm snatching off blocks um gaining my trail arm, trail leg, and getting through and uh, getting through that block more cleanly. So there's a, it's, it's all hand stuff for yes, the sir. most part. It's that hand-to-hand -hand combat that you know is going to go to the next level here with the NFL tackles and yes, all sir. that. What about anything, you know, as far as just the combined physicality where you're like, man, I got a lot better at this, like the vertical, yeah. bench, whatever. Was there anything that jumped out that way? I definitely got better with my 40, and um, the shuttle and stuff kind of came naturally to me just because, like, you know, I can bend and move. Yeah, and right. But the 40 and running straight, um, just learning more mechanics and how to like you know burst myself off right, the start. Yeah, right. There's a lot to learn, right? It's there is. Shocking. I didn't. I didn't You're know like, about Damn, that. It's only yeah. a 40 yard race. How many things can I think of here? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> by the way, we should make sure that everybody out there understands this guy is special by UCLA standards and by all standards. By all standards. First guy ever from the Bruins to win both the Ted Hendricks Award that goes to the best defensive end in college football and the Lombardi Award for the College Football Lineman of the Year. Hey, 13 sacks. Yeah, big this stuff. year. Pac-12 was good this year. Yeah. I mean, it was it. real. It was the best the Pac-12 has been in 20 years probably. I so. know. It's sad that we're losing it right? now. I mean, Pac-12 is always, like, unpredictable. And I feel like it's just so fun to watch. You never know who's going to win. And it's sad that we're losing that. Yeah, no, I, we're, we're talking to a guy here that you're the first rounder. That's what we're talking here. And, uh, I first so hope, round. We, we first hope, half we first hope the round. best for you that way, man. I appreciate we that. Wish you all the much. best. Thanks for some of your time. Enjoy yeah, the rest of, of the week and have a great career. Thank Before you guys. I'm talking to you once you're playing. Yes, sir. I'll be seeing you guys again. Good luck, man. All right, man. Some butt, all right? yes, sir. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.